the monk ability right now and have the bomb tower uh, reflect everything back and he drops the log oh my gosh that's a massive mistake on Y'all see me flying, never drop down, drop down, smoking high Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So today I'm playing with one of my favorite decks ever, and it's got the monk as the champion. I really think it's gonna be good this season because there's gonna be so many archer queens, especially with the most recent buff. And our opponent hopped straight into it with a uh, hog rider. So he's got fireball as well. And because of that, we're gonna go with uh roll hogs. See what else he's got to defend it. So he goes with knight, looks like he's gonna have evil knight. So, that'll be pretty good. We're, we have evil roll recruits in this deck, which is also really, really good. And I know it, it. they recently just got a nerf, but honestly, it's not that big of a difference for me. And I really, really don't see them being hindered that much by that uh, uh, nerf that they got. So, he's going to go with Musketeer. The thing with the Monk is it can just reflect every all projectiles. And that's exactly what we're going to do here. Essentially make the Monk last longer and also take out the Musketeer for the equivalent of one elixir. So we'll take the minions there on the right, force out the knight, and see what else our opponent's got for us. So the Royal Recruit's gonna finish up the knight, and we're sitting in a pretty good spot. So we're gonna go cycle skeleton dragons all in one lane, going down the left lane, force out the fireball. That's also good for us because we do know that he probably wants, he wanted to go uh, right, but we fire, since he fireballed the left side, that's not really the side he wants to go for. He's also got Bomb Tower too. So pretty interesting there. And Royal Hogs will finish that up for the most part. And let's see what else our opponent's got. So we're gonna go Barbarian Barrel here. And that will clean up the Musketeer for a plus two Elixir trade. We'll go with the Mini P.E.K.K.A. A little bit slow, so we're not gonna be able to get, uh, prevent any damage. But it is, it is what it is. We'll go with Skeleton Dragons right here. And we should be okay. And let's see. I think one should still go to the left and apply some sort of pressure there. So he's going to go with Evil Knight. We're going to go with our Evil Roll Recruits here. And see what he's got. So kind of worried about what he's going to drop behind it. If he does drop anything behind it. We'll go with Monk right here. And let's see. So it does lock on. So we're going to use the Monk ability right now. And have it. The bomb tower uh, reflect everything back and he drops the log. Oh my gosh, that's a massive mistake on our opponent's end. We're going to have so many things dashing there on that left side tower. We're going to do a massive amount of damage and we are sitting in a really good spot. We're not out of the woods quite yet, but we're doing pretty good. We're going to go Barbarian Barrel and the Mini P.E.K.K.A. And we do still give up a hit, which is unfortunate. Musketeer is going to finish up the Skeleton Dragon. Oh, not quite, but pretty close. We'll go with Cycle uh, Roll Recruits right here. We'll go with Ice Spirit, freeze up the uh, minions, and allow our Royal Recruits to engage with the Knight. And we'll go with Skeleton Dragons here at the bridge, and see what else our opponent's going to have for us. So we're going to go uh, Monk right here, and we're going to have that essentially finish up the Musketeer for us, which would be really good. Also finish up the uh, Spear Goblins, and then we'll go with Royal Hogs. And essentially, we're going to go with Mini P.E.K.K.A. right here, and that's going to be good game well played on the left side. As you can see with this deck, the Monk really is the champion of this deck. Let's hop into another one. All right, jumping to another match here. So we have Roll Recruits in our starting hand, but I've kind of, you know, a few seasons ago, you can cycle Roll Recruits in the back and not be too worried if your opponent doesn't drop anything. But now you always want to wait a little bit, see what your opponent's caught. He drops his arrows. I'm kind of surprised um, people are still running arrows because it did get um, a indirect nerf by um supercell buffing or clash buffing um the guards shield to be able to withstand it so we'll go with royal hogs it looks like he's got royal recruits of his own as well and guards wow okay that's kind of a double up a little bit surprised we'll split skeleton dragons early so one goes on the right and one is still going down the left lane help clean up everything right there and i think we're sitting in a pretty good position i would say um let's see we'll go barbarian barrel clean this up and he's probably going to use the ability. Yeah, that's okay. We'll go with the Ice Spirit here. I mean, um, Mini P.E.K.K.A. afterwards. A little bit late. It is what it is. We'll take it. We're actually still ahead by six hit points. So that shouldn't cost us too much. We'll go with the Monk right here. And it should be pretty good. The Monk ability to, on the third hit, to be able to push um, cards back is so underrated, I, believe, I feel like, that you really really um you know just sleep on it so 
Monk is able to fully counter that for no damage, which is really solid. He's going to go with uh, Ro with his mini P.E.K.K.A. We'll go with Roll Hogs, and we're going to go with uh, Skeleton Dragons to clean that up. Poison is not the answer for this, not in the slightest. And Skeleton Dragon will get a couple hits onto that um, Little Prince, which is really good. And Little Prince is struggling to finish up our Roll Hogs. So we're sitting in a really good position. We're going to go Barbarian Barrel right here and see if we can force out an ability early. And no, we don't, but we're sitting in a pretty good position. So we're going to go with the Monk and just see what, what what's going to happen here. So we don't want to play our Roll Recruits first, our evil Roll Recruits first. We want to play a second. So hopefully most of it can engage on our side. We do have that Monk, um, you know, engaging the Roll Recruits there, but we're not in the worst position in the world. We're going to go like this. And we're going to fireball, we're going to log everything, at least buy us some time there on that right side. An argument could have been made that, oh yeah, you should have gone with Barbarian Barrel first. Is what it is. So we're going to go with Monk right here. And as well with the Little Prince, the Monk can fully counter the Little Prince once the Little Prince starts ramping up. So that's exactly what we're going to do here, use the Monk ability. And we're going to use the Royal Recruits to finish up the uh, Mini P.E.K.K.A. And that's really good for us. And... For the most part, we're in a really good position. So we're gonna go Barbarian Barrel right here, clean up the Little Prince, which is a massive nuisance for us, and go Ice Spirit right here. Then we'll go Royal Hogs as well. And Skeleton Dragons does get one hit off and force out the guards. With the poison, that's not gonna be enough. We can fireball if anything, and that right there is going to be good game well played. This deck, honestly, is gonna be really, really good this season. Give it a shot. Let me know what you think down in the comment sections below. If you guys like this video, please like, comment, subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time.